How you doing? What's up, YouTube? Jason here with Bite My Bits, and I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna call this video, but here's the premise. I have been printing almost nonstop, not really. I took a three days off, but I've been printing fairly nonstop since I've gotten this Flash Forge printer. This is the Flash Forge uh, Creator Pro Max Ultra. I forgot the name. Creator Max Dos. The point is, I've been printing for a while and I've been kind of learning a lot of things. One of which is that these nozzles, they clog. I know everyone out there that's in 3D printing, they're like, oh no, don't Jason. But you know, it sucks. Now this first nozzle right here, you see this one right here? I actually had to take this thing all the way apart because the motor itself, like, only one screw was actually attached right, so it was kind of like flopping around. So I don't know if it was just not tightened correctly or it was not tightened correctly, but either way, I had to take everything apart and learned a lot about, you know, the basics of 3D printing heads. And I had to tighten everything down. When I did that, I also replaced the nozzle because it was also kind of clogged and that's what made it jump around as well but I'm blaming the screws. Now I ended up replacing the nozzle. This is the old one, right? Because I have plenty of them, but I do plan on cleaning this out. It looks like a perfectly good nozzle. I haven't had any issues aside from the fact that it was jammed. I don't want to actually take this thing apart and swap a perfectly good nozzle for another perfectly, another perfectly good nozzle just because it's clogged. Instead, I wanna clean this thing. To give you a little idea, of what it's doing. Let me let me do a print just real quick. Basically, I have a test print, right? It, it's eight minutes long. And it'll kind of show you what it's doing. This is a little bullet test file, right? It uses both extruders. It's just kind of like a fast setting, nothing fancy, but it will test out both sides at the same time because this is a dual extruding head and you can use it in duplication mode or you can mix and match colors but the duplication mode is faster because they're both moving at the same time, doing the same exact thing. So this is a perfect test for what I wanna do. Uh-oh, oh God, it's gonna knock over the phone. Oh my God, oh no! Oh, that was so close. Okay, let's take a look at the results. Here is the one that I was having problems with. Look at that. Look how crappy that looks, right? Just absolutely terrible. Here's the other one that I just replaced and just took everything apart. I mean, very, very obviously just completely different. You know what I mean? Now, actually, while that was printing, I tried to find the smallest needle I had. But look at that, look at that. I don't think it's gonna fit. I know it's not gonna fit. But that doesn't mean I'm not gonna try. Let's see, look at you. Aw, oh, you suck. Terrible, just absolutely horrible. Throwing you in the mess. You know, some people might say that's dirty, but I think it's like a badge of honor. Like, look at all that. Okay, watch this, see? Load, heat, extruding. Extruding. God damn it. And extruding. Look at that. It's making the noise, it's doing the things. I should also, while I'm here, try a different filament just to make sure, you know what I mean? 
Now it's not even like going in. I think I put some debris all up in it. Okay. Remember that fun thing I said that I'm like learning as I go? So uh, the only thing I could shove in that hole was this little bristle, but not long enough to really, you know, get in there. So uh, I looked it up and these nozzles are like $9 for like 20. So, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a cleaning kit, but since I don't have a cleaning kit and I wanna get back to printing, I gotta change the nozzle. Honestly, the reason why I'm gonna get this kit to clean it, because for the most part, this Flash Forge printer keeps its, you know, alignment. So even when, check this out, this little pad, I should have totally reviewed that when I reviewed this whole thing, but this thing comes up and you can bend it and it's really easy to get stuff off and it's less scraping, which means it'll keep its stickiness better. But, uh, you know, I wanna be able to clean stuff and not have to take it apart. Like so. So now I gotta take off the head here, which is just these four screws. And this allow me to, uh, oh, turn it the other way. This allow me to unscrew this head. So here's that little insert thing, right? Take that out, maybe. Yeah, hey, yeah. Just all kinds of stuff just, just jammed in there. I'll pull this out, look at that. Okay, as you can see, it is just all kinds of jammed up. So uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'm actually going to care about these because now that I know that they're so cheap, it's like, why waste time cleaning them if I'm going to take it apart? So instead, I'm just gonna replace them. I mean, it's $9 for 20 of these damn things. Like, why clean it? Okay, you know what would be absolutely crazy is if I change this nozzle and then just printed, right? Without leveling it again, right? I'm gonna try it. It's eight minutes and not that much filament. Oh my gosh. I try to shove it so hard in the hole and it will not go in. I think I gotta take this whole damn thing apart. This video started off with, let's clean the hole. And then it started off with, let's get a new hole. <sighs> now it's gonna finish with, let's trade the hole in for like a whole nother hole holder. Just kidding, I'm gonna take it apart. But God damn it. Okay, so I took the head apart, right? I didn't actually take it off the thing, but I took the head apart and you can see right there, there's still green stuck in there. And that's why it won't feed. It won't even get to the new head. So I got my little tweezers here. Just gotta take that and pull that out. And then I should be able to see right through that. Let's see. There we go. Now it's clear. Also, since I'm in here and kind of cleaning stuff, since it kind of jumped around a lot, I'm like looking at the gears for this step motor and you can kind of see it's a little dirty in there. So I'm half tempted to take this apart too and just kind of clean that or just get a brush and clean that stuff off. All right, so I decided to print a couple different colors, pink and a blue. So let's see how this turns out. I'm really curious if the whole alignment thing is gonna be all messed up. 
And that is so incredibly fast. How is it even sticking? Watch how slow this one goes. See, look at that. Okay, much better, much better. I feel like that's pretty good. I think I'm actually gonna try a print. It's gonna be a dual extruder print and not realign. <laughs> uh, let's see if that one comes off. Uh, that one came off. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. I've learned a little bit, and that is don't shortcut things because right when you think you got everything that you need, you still got to take it apart and clear stuff out. But that's the fun of 3D printing, you know? So if you guys have any questions, comments, or complaints about what I did today, make sure to leave those in the comments down below. If you want to check out this printer, I will also link that in the description. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe, and have yourself a great day. Cinematic walk away.